On the 19th of October 1940, a bomb fell in Carshalton High Street, destroying the King's Arms pub and causing the death of one person and injury to several others. The same bomb resulted in extensive damage to Hayden's butcher's shop and its adjoining part Tudor, part Georgian house, known as the Banks, directly opposite the pub. When the bomb fell, I was in that house, aged nearly two, with my mother and my younger sister, a baby of six months. According to my mother, there had been several near misses on the high street. In a letter to my father, dated the 18th of September, 1940, she says, Last night was really hectic. About 10pm, a big bomb literally whistled past the house. On the evening of the 19th of October, the pub took a direct hit and our house and shop were devastated. When the bomb fell opposite, it was of course the front of our house which took the full force. By some miracle, large internal wooden shutters which covered the windows were blown in by the blast right across the top of my sister's cot, protecting her from heavy plaster, glass and other debris which fell from the ceiling. According to my mother's account, she got out through the windows, put us in the pram, together with the shop money from the cash box, and walked to Wallington in the blackout to the home of her parents in Beddington Gardens. My mother describes looking up at the sky as she pushed the pram along Park Lane and seeing the glow of fires right across London. Today, as I walk along the high street, I find myself reflecting on how easily it could have been a different outcome and how fortunate we were to have survived such a night.